Hi Leo, welcome to the Gypsy's Tower. You are doing your reading for November. I hope I'm finding you well. Ooh, remember if this reading resonates, so please hit like and subscribe. And if not, you can book a reading with me at the Gypsy's Tower, linked below in the description. What does Leo need to know in November? We already got cards jumping. Ooh, okay, Leo. Oh, all right. So we have wave of emotions, worry, fear, love, hate dynamic, emotionally unstable. Rekindling the spark, reconciliation, making amends, second chances, and then legal matters, court contracts, marriage, child support, or divorce. Someone could be breaking up their marriage to come towards you. That's one thing I'm hearing, okay? The other thing I'm hearing is that um, this person to you is just, it, they're too much, all right? So I feel like you had to block them out, and they want a second chance. And they may be, I feel, going through a lot karmically with these contracts. Let's see. I'm getting Libra, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a really intense fire sign like yourself. Okay. What is this for Leo in November? Cosmic gift, material gift, blessings, retreat, getaway, travel, new experiences, and manipulation, controlling, and toxic. Coming very soon is at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> All right, so some of you may want a divorce from this person and they're trying to get a second chance and you are getting away from them. This could just even be a breakup. You're ready for new experiences and you and I feel like spirit is about to bless you with a major gift. So don't worry, all right? I feel too some of you can meet someone while traveling and you're just going to hit it off big time. So get excited. I think some of you do have a trip coming up here soon. Mm-hmm. Maybe you're not going to understand what these feelings are, but spirit is right next to you, just so you know, okay? Let's take a look at, look at this, Queen of Wands and Strength. You are showing up, Leo. Let's take a look at the tarot. What is coming in for Leos in November? What's coming towards them? First, looking at you, Leo. You have got the Fool sign of Aries with the Empress sign of Taurus. You guys are. You're ready for a new beginning. You're in your divine feminine energy or this is the kind of um, energy you're bringing into your own life. Okay, you're embodying all of the queens or you're meeting someone that can. Who's coming towards Leo's at this time? Who or what, I should say. The King of Wands. Ooh, someone who matches your energy or just sees you as this person. And there's the toxicity. Okay, so this person knows that I'm kind of getting attention whore, always wants people to look at them, but they know you're the true, like you're the real deal. Okay, but them compared to you, not so much. Okay. And they have people pouring into them to feed this ego that they really don't need. Okay. What is happening between Leo and or just for Leo. The Nine of Pentacles. You enjoying the fruits of your labor. Being financially independent and moving on from someone. Or any kind of mental blocks. Especially if you're worried about money or your uh, security. And the outcome is the Two of Pentacles. You could be comparing options right now. This could be careers. This could be any kind of choice or partnership coming up for you in November. But I see it working out in your favor here with the Nine of Pentacles. As long as you're listening to yourself about, you know, I'm getting your intuition, really, with the Six of Swords. It's like it's time to let go of some things or the idea of something in order for it to flow easily like the Empress would do. Okay? She's very grounded. And this is a new beginning. So what's the fool with the Empress? Some of you, you know, you're a really good mom. I'm hearing that too. You're a beautiful, wonderful mother. And I feel like maybe you're sending your child out to pursue their own, you know, shit. <laughs> okay? They're spreading their wings. I'm hearing that too. All right. What else? The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse and the High Priestess in the reverse. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries or a Pisces that just doesn't listen to their intuition. They're not very grounded. They're lazy and they're stagnant. And I feel like this is driving you up the wall. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, maybe this person was draining your pockets too for some of you. And you wish that this person would just see that they're acting foolish. Tell me more. What is this? 
Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. This could very well be someone in your family or the family dynamic. But for some of you, this could be an ex-husband or ex-wife with the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Or you just felt like when you were dealing with this person, they were telling you or selling you a dream. But really, you had it all already for yourself. You, you embodied all of this alone. You didn't need a king or a queen to make you this empress that you are. Yeah, somebody was in some hoe activities or a very immature fire sign here. Okay? But they're going to see real soon that people don't want to work with them if they keep up this behavior and that they're going to have to put in the effort eight of pentacles. You could have even worked with this person. Okay. I mean, you're going towards the ten of pentacles, Leo. And this is amazing. What is the king of wands with the five of wands here? Why is this person so toxic? The ten of cups in the reverse. And the Page of Swords in the reverse. This is someone that probably likes to keep tabs on you. And it's like they're more focused on what you have going on than their own emotional shit. And that's the problem, okay? That's why they're toxic. It's like they'll never be happy, but they're always looking for that attention. And you're sick of it. This bin is literally overflowing with toxicity. And I feel like you're telling this person about themselves if you haven't already. And if it's not you, someone else is telling this person about themselves with the Queen of Swords. This could be a lawyer, too, that's just like fed up with this person. And they can see that they're just, they're dragging something out here because of their own emotional lack. Okay, this person's going through a lot of delays and they're very, they're not even looking at why they're not happy. They just want all this attention. What's the Nine of Pentacles with the Six of Swords? The Two of Swords in the reverse. And the Seven of Cups in the reverse. It's like you're letting go of the confusion about this situation. You're not allowing it to dictate your life. You're saying, you know what? These people aren't grounded. They don't listen to their intuition. I, it's not my job to always be there for them and help them. Um, and you're, you're done with it. You're not in two minds about it. And that's releasing any kind of confusion that you've had. What's the outcome? The queen of pentacles in the reverse. And yes, this can be about you letting go of someone else to go towards what really makes you happy. All right. Someone that you could have been in a relationship with in the past or someone again, that's just not grounded and was trying to use you for financial gain because they were manipulative and overindulgent. And at the bottom, you do have the four of wands. So you are creating stability for yourself here. But someone here needs to get out and get to work here. This immature knight of wands in the reverse. Hi, Salem. Hi. My black cat's in here. He's so cute. I have a picture of him on the community tab. Yes, he's so handsome. I love you. What is the Two of Pentacles? The Nine of Wands in the reverse. And the King of Wands. You guys are taking your power back, okay? And you're not going to defend anyone who's childish or I feel lazy, okay? That's exactly what I'm getting. Someone is very stubborn and they're trapped and you're, you're turning your back on them. You're not dealing with it. You may even snap off on someone here with the Knight of Swords in the reverse. <laughs> Tell me more. The Fool in the reverse. This could be an Aries for some of you, but you're doing it all in love with the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. You're ready for a new beginning. And I feel like emotionally you don't want to you don't want to have had to walk away from this person but you're being as nice as you can about it okay you feel like maybe they don't know how to they're stuck in their head a lot about this connection or connections that they're in and they need to be more focused on action and self-love and that's the truth okay what's hidden and you're also telling this person no we're not having a new beginning you're foolish you're not doing what you need to be doing yeah and they feel like you're you're too stern with them, but that's what this person needs, okay? They're having a lot of issues. It's like they always want to be the queen of pentacles, but they never are. Always the bridesmaid, but never the bride type of thing. What is hidden? Influencer in the spotlight, persuading others, following the leader. That's right. That's who you are, Leo. And then repo, yeah, default on payments, financially incapable, repossessed assets. I feel like someone's been trying to drain you. And then skirt, <laughs> quick getaway, the runner escaping. They're escaping their responsibilities. Tell me more. Bossing up, self-empowerment, independently living, leading the pack. Look at you, Leo. This is awesome. Leveling up, road to success, accomplishing goals, moving to the next level. And play a play, a play in the field, not looking to settle, seeking options. So again, it's kind of reverting back to this, this person that, you know, 
keeps on playing games. That's what I'm getting here. You're always running away from responsibilities and they see you leveling up. They're trying to get things from you and it's not going to work. Okay. And I feel like the faster you get away from this energy or put them in check, the more you're going to feel comfortable here. Okay. What else does Leo need to know about this in November? It says work. I've been keeping myself busy with work and improving my finances, family. My focus has been on my family. They mean the world to me and incomparable. No one has ever made me feel the way you do. You're irreplaceable. Then we have reconciliation. I'm working up the courage to ask you on a date. This could be someone you work with. Okay, but I do feel like you're working very hard right now and you're not seeing this coming. We do have it twice. Then we have family with escapism. Drinking seems to be the only thing that numbs my mental agony. And then control. I'm trying to control the situation to avoid having it control me. So someone's trying not to come towards you, but they can't help it is what I'm kind of getting here. Let's get your advice. What is the advice for Leo in November to close out this reading? We've got bad timing. Everything will come to you at the right time. Be patient. Your time will come. And you were chosen. You were chosen because you're perfect for this mission. Simply shine your light on the road ahead and you will help others see their way. Now, what's funny is Aries had this. Okay. So I feel like maybe you're helping an Aries here. Maybe you're the chosen one who's helping this Aries see that their time is going to come because you're the one who's the influencer who's bossing up, leveling up. Okay. So... I hope that you enjoyed this reading, Leo. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I love, love, love you. Bye.